This is every step on how to upload a video to YouTube. The first thing is to make sure you have an end screen on your video. This means that when I have this video I want to upload here, it ends and that's it. At the end of a video on YouTube, you have things like a subscriber button, suggested videos that pop up at the end. Those are really important for YouTube because YouTube wants people to stay on YouTube. So if they watch your video, then click a button and watch another video, they really like that, which means they're gonna promote your video more than a video where they just watch towards the end and then they leave. So the problem with this video, it just ends. So what I've done is I've made a second version of the video here where I've put in 10 seconds at the end for those uh, parts at the end. So we have the explosion and then it fades to blue and I've left some space for the YouTube end screens. Now, you may not have to do this if the end of your video kind of tails off or you're happy to have those screens and subscription buttons pop up, that's fine. This one, it's only a 45 minute video, so I need to put a bit of extra on it. So this is how you upload a video. First, you go to YouTube and make sure you're on the right channel or my right account. You also need a YouTube account. Create, upload a video. There's two ways to do this. You can do all the editing or all the descriptions and the setup immediately as you do it, or you can go back and do it later. I'll show you how to do it later at the end of this video. So first, choose your video. I'm gonna do this one. I've chosen this video because it's very short, so it's quite fast to upload. Uh, if you have a, a longer video, it might take quite a while, especially if it's like 4K or, or whatever. So as the video is uploading, you can edit a lot of this. Um, this video is already uploaded, but uh, if you have a very big video, it might take a, a few hours to upload, but you can still edit most of it. You notice that a lot of this is already filled in. So the title is just taken the video name that I uploaded, and but the description has a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, also, if you go further down, um, I'm gonna put show more you can see some tags are already filled in. These are because I've already decided before. To decide before, which will save you a bunch of time, go to uh, YouTube Studio, and then down to Settings, and Upload Defaults. So if you want a, a kind of naming system, you can add a name here that will appear every time you upload a video. Uh, the description you can add, you can add a bunch of uh, links out you can do what you want here. You can also add tags that will appear every time. So if you have commonly used tags, put them here once. You don't have to do it each time. If you want to add tags in a big group, you just do word, comma, word, comma, word, comma, a bit like hashtags. And just copy. And if I put those in here, they will appear like that. So you don't have to do one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. YouTube thumbnail, click here and upload whatever thumbnail you want. Uh, YouTube only gives you like three choices that aren't very good usually, so it's better to make your own thumbnail. Sometimes it will say that the video, the thumbnail is too, too big. So to fix this, go to a website called tinypng.com, which is a free website, and just upload your thumbnail and it will just make it smaller and then it should be completely fine. In the description, you can add a few things. So you can add in your text here and copy and paste it from before. You can have a whole bunch of links. You can also have chapters. Now a chapter is, if you look here, this is the video progress bar. Without chapters, there, here it is with chapters. To add these, you need to follow this formula. I've already made some. So copy these and paste. It has to follow this formula, zero colon zero zero, it must start at zero. So that would be the first chapter going from here. You must have at least three chapters throughout the video. Uh, each chapter must be at least 10 seconds long and use a colon, not a full stop. Okay, let's go down, uh, add a playlist, add as many as you want. Remember to push done. Uh, this is not made for kids. This is a serious, serious.
serious video. Uh, check if you have paid promotion. I don't know how much that affects whether or not you get found or not, but I always do it, I don't wanna lie. Here we have the tags that we already uploaded before. Uh, you can add some more in if you want. Uh, again, you can copy and paste uh, the same way as before if you have a whole bunch you wanna add as one. And you can actually uh, copy them now, which is really useful. You, you couldn't do that before. It was very irritating. So the tags, they don't actually help people find your video, but they'll help people if there's common mis spelling mistakes. So if you're doing a video called Mississippi, people don't really know how to spell Mississippi or they, they misspell it. They misspell Mississippi a lot. So you can put in a whole bunch of different common spelling mistakes here that might help it get found, but it's not really gonna, if you put in like recipe, it's not, people aren't gonna really find it. It's not gonna help. Going further down, there's a few other options. Uh, recording date, video location, allow embedding. So embedding means that someone can take your video URL, which is this one, add it to their website, and then they can watch your YouTube video on that website. It will still count as your view, but if you wanna stop people from doing that, you can unclick this box. We always leave it on, it's fine. Uh, category, that kind of stuff. Okay, I think that is everything for this part. Next, we're gonna go to, next. Monetization. This is if you wanna earn money from the video, uh, you have to be eligible first. Uh, you need a certain amount of subscribers. Um, this one cannot be monetized because of a copyright claim. That is because I am using music that I do not have the copyright for. I actually have no idea if where I got the music from. Often you'll get something like this when you use a video program and they have a set uh, music playlist that you can choose from and maybe the copyright, th their deal with the music maker has finished, but you can still use it, you just have to dispute it. So uh, this one I can't use because of that, uh, I can't make any money from it because of that music. What that means is that if I get 10 billion views for this video, I don't see any money from it. All the money will go to the person that made that music. These are the video elements. You can add subtitles here. I don't have any uh, talking in mind. There's no dialogue. Um, you can upload a file. The file will be an SRT file. Um, you can type them in manually. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, doing captions is one of the most boring and soul crushing jobs you can do. So uh, enjoy doing that if you want. Okay, add an end screen. There's two options, import from video or add. I'll just do the add first. So remember I had that 10 seconds at the end. So I can choose where I want this, these uh, things to pop up from. If I do it here, I'm gonna choose this and it's reset at it, which is very irritating. So I'm gonna bring it back to here. So you can, you can have these pop up at different times if you want. What this means now, and you can watch the... And now they pop up. You can adjust these, you can put that there, you can choose what you want, best for viewer, uh, you can choose a playlist, you can do a whole bunch of stuff, uh, add an element here, if you want a video, a playlist, a channel, a link, a link is to a website. Uh, I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna discard these changes. I'm gonna import from a video because this is easier for me. I'm gonna, t I've already made an end screen. I'm gonna, just gonna choose this one and it will automatically use the same one I've done. However, you might notice that the timing is completely wrong again, so I'm gonna move it back. And see, I've put this one slightly before it. So this one will actually appear slightly before that one if you want to get creative or, or whatever. Uh, I'm going to save that. That's fine. Cards. Cards are the little pop-ups that appear in the top right. Uh, you can have up to five in a, a video. And you just move this to where you want it to appear. I'm going to add a video. It'll show all your videos here. Uh, if you want any other video on YouTube, like literally any other video, just um, add the URL there. I'll put that there. And this will appear on the video with a link. If you want, you can add a custom message. 
you can also add a playlist choose a random one uh, a channel and link to another channel if you talk about it in the video uh, a link to a website uh, there's some uh, rules and regulations about websites so just be careful of that I'm gonna save that that's totally fine for this example video save okay checks so this is the copyright claim this is the video I can trim out the segment I can actually cut out a bit of it um, I've tried editing videos that are already uploaded to YouTube and it takes hours it's very messy how to do it it's, it's not clear what's happening and you save it and sometimes the edit works and sometimes it doesn't work I would to be honest delete it and edit it outside and bring it in again of course if it's a, you know, a video that has a bunch of views then you want to edit it within it but it's very much easier to just start again you can replace the song with one of their songs uh, you can mute the song or dispute it which means that so the visibility this is the last part this is uh, decide what's gonna happen to the video right now if you put private you can see it no one else can see it this is like a draft uh, so if you want to edit it later do that unlisted means anyone with this link here can watch the video but it will not appear on YouTube this is good for videos within a private company or private videos for your family or if you want to show a client a draft of a video here you can put it and they can watch it but it will not appear on any YouTube list the last is public it's public it's up right now immediately you can watch it schedule you can choose when it's going to appear so if I'm gonna put the 27th of May and this time be careful with the time zone this is based on your time zone this might not be a problem for you but I'm in Japan and I do a lot of work for Canadian companies so I've got to work it out so that I know that for example 9 p.m. is about 7 a.m. in the morning in Toronto and then we can schedule it and that is done so that's how you upload a video if you want to do everything as you upload it if you want to edit it later or any make any kind of changes go to YouTube studio again then content in content you can do some changes like you can change the schedule here but on the pencil go to details and here you can edit everything again uh, the visibility copyright claim subtitles end screen thumbnail uh, what playlists show more and you can find the tags down here with tags they are hiding it more because I think people will kind of overestimate how important they are for people finding your video so in the description we had these chapters but I'm not sure that they actually worked so I'm going to go here and let's check it out and you can see right there that the chapters did work so chapter one chapter two chapter three chapter four and if you go down here a bit you can see that these are chapters if you click on these uh, you can actually point jump to that part of the video one thing that you should always do is always ask people to like and subscribe I know it's irritating when people do that but it does actually make a huge difference in whether or not people like or subscribe so please like this video please subscribe to add Ronin and you'll get notified about any other videos that we make and other tutorials like this one